Uh, lessons for everyone is that uh, poverty and lack of education are the key drivers of deforestation. If you want to fight against deforestation, you must give new standards living to the people. If you don't leave new standards living to the people, uh, we are going to lose this fight. You're going to lose this fight because people done, done, done deforestation because they want, but because they need. I was in one community in my state, a very small community, and I was talking with one father, and he has a huge family. And uh, I was talking about how the forest is important, how the forest is providing environmental service for the world, and he answered me with a very directly answer, and he said, don't ask me, Governor, to take care of this tree if my child is crying with hungry. And that's true. How can I ask for one Indonesian to care about the environmental, and care about the tree, care about the water supplies and everything if the child are crying with hungry? It's impossible. How can I ask to the people to apply new technologies, to apply new tools with the first if we don't give them a good education. So, and I think we can do. Uh, if we invest in, in quality of professors, if we invest in new technology, like uh, in Amazonas State right now, we are investing a lot in new technology in a long distance education. We have more than 700 stations of IP TV, which means internet TV interactive TV, and the 700 stations, we have 20,000 young people learning how to manage the forest, learning how to have a new quality of education. So it is possible if we have help, if we have funding, it's possible to increase the quality of education and also to face the poverty, increase the income per year and get a, a better future and secured for the future generations that we are going to preserve the forest. And did you learn anything from Indonesia today or over the past two days about oh, what they're doing? Oh, sure. It impresses you. Yeah, it impresses me a lot what they are doing. They are trying to structure the environmental services. They are trying to put those environmental services like carbon captures and whatever in the market. And uh, we are always looking for what Indonesia is trying to, to do. We are learning with uh, the rights and wrong things all over the world, and we are learning together. And finally, what drives you personally? Why do you care so much about the forest? Your own well, personal background or childhood? Or... No, really, people. I love people. I, I care about uh, forest because I love people. And I think in the future, for my child and for your child and for my people, the forest will be the natural resources to them to get a better and better, better life.